Why did the web developer go broke? Because he used up all his cash. Get it? Cash? Don't worry, my tutorials are better than my joke. All right, let's say I need a hero section for my site. For that, I'll just type a prompt like this, click on generate, and boom, my design is ready. Do you want to know how I did this? Just follow along and create a site like this using Elementor AI in just a few minutes. Go to pages, select add new. Once you're here, go to the top and click on edit with Elementor. Now to make this full screen, I'll go to settings and change the page layout to Elementor full width. Now to create a hero section, click on Elementor button here. In this pop-up, I'll add my email and password like this. Once that's done, I'll connect my site with Elementor and then click on get started. All right, here I'll type a brief description for a hero section like this and then click generate. The AI will start creating options based on my description and this is how it will look. From these options, I'll pick the one that looks best. Next, click on use layout here and it gives me access to edit the block. Now let's customize the hero section quickly. So select the container and change it to full width from here. Then I'll go to the style section to add a background video like this. And after pasting the video link, let's add a fallback image from the video library. So if the video doesn't load, the hero section would still look good. Then I'll add a background overlay, set the color to black, and adjust the opacity like this. The heading is also not really visible, so I'll change the color to white from here. I'll also adjust the width of the text by going to the advanced section and setting it to the full width. All right, now let's head over to the social media section. I'll go to style and change the secondary color to black. Then go to advanced and change the background color to white like this. After that, I'll click on the shop button and change the text color to black and the background color to white. Looks so much better now. Next up, let's add an about a section for our page. I'll use the AI to generate a bunch of choices like this. And as you can see, it also generated a contact us page, which is not at all useful. Anyways, I'll select this block and edit like this. I want to make a few customizations, so I'll add an image slideshow on this container. I'll go to the style tab, select slideshow here, and choose some images from the gallery like this. I'll also set the background size to cover and the position to center from the drop down menu. For the transition, let's go with left to right. I'll set the border to none and increase the radius like this. Next, let's change the alignment of the about us section. So click on container, go to the layout and change the direction to horizontal. Increase the gap a bit. Next, to create our product cards, I'll write a quick description like this. And here it gives me a bunch of options and I'm gonna pick this one. Let's start customizing it. And to change the background color, I'll click on this container and go to the style section. Let's pick a color from the color box. And after that, I'll change the text color like this. Next, I'll edit the add to cart button by clicking on the container and changing the color to black. And add a background here. I'll click on the container, select style, then click on background image. In this pop-up, I'll choose my image like this. Let's adjust the image like this. Since the text isn't clear, I'll change the text color to white and do the same for the heading. I'll repeat the same steps for the next product and once done, it will look something like this. Next, I'll quickly add some testimonials here. So let's start by selecting a container and dragging the testimonial widget from the menu. I'll click here to use AI and generate the content by adding a brief description and letting the AI do the rest. Once I have the testimonial text, I'll use the AI image generator to create an image. Let's give it a description, 
click generate and choose the best result. To add another testimonial, I'll duplicate the existing one and repeat the process for both the text and image. For the third testimonial block, I'll follow the same steps. After completing it, I'll review everything. Looks good. And update the page by clicking here. Now let's preview the page to see how it looks. Good, isn't it? In this three minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.